I spent an entire week playing Rust as a solo with one goal in mind, to experience everything that this game has to offer on console. But this video is going to be a bit different, because inevitably, after playing for so long, I experienced the highest highs, but also some of the most devastating losses, and I'm going to share all of it with you today. For this wipe, I lived out of the greatest solo base that I've ever built. Some of you might recognize a similar base build from a previous video, but I've optimized it to truly make it what I think is the best solo base you could possibly build. And if you guys want a build tutorial, make sure to let me know in the comments and give this video a like to help me out and push it to a larger audience on YouTube. And finally, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. I'm honestly blown away to have reached such a milestone, and I really appreciate all of you who watch my videos. So yeah, thank you guys. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. I'm back on a Rust console today, and we've got a special, a special wipe plan today. This video, like, if all goes well, is going to be hopefully a 50k subscriber special. And what we're looking at today is trying to achieve the complete Rust experience. And it's going to be like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete it to be honest. <laughs> it's going to be really challenging. But yeah, pretty much like we need to take oil rig, you know, small, large, cargo, you know, take Bradley, take down Chopper, do a raid, maybe even defend a raid, but I don't know, like not many people online raiding console. I just got a satchel charge. Do I have BPs? Oh, dude, I have no BPs. It's going to be a pretty challenging uh, experience, I think, to, to complete this, but either way, we're going to have a good time. It's going to be fun. It's Force Wipe, but I'm playing on a monthly, so only the map has wiped. And I'm about four or five hours late, so it's going to be a really challenging day. <laughs> but the plan is to get a base down, at least get a start, and yeah, like kind of try and snowball as quickly as I can um but I've chosen I've chosen like a, a reasonable server I guess you'd say yeah about middle pop at the moment around about 50 60 players and uh I don't know it's probably going to be full pop come tonight like after work hours and stuff but but let's get into it and yeah see how see how the day unfolds I guess So we're going to make a beeline up this road and then head out and hopefully get a little base down. I think we're going to build out here. Maybe like, I don't know. We'll see what the area looks like. After barely making my way to outpost and checking out the map, I decided I wanted to build somewhere near the snow with access to the safe recycler at outpost and these dirt roads that normally have a crazy amount of comps. Not to mention easy access to red card at water treatment. This could be the perfect location for me, but I wouldn't be the only one with that idea. For the time being though, I set out to farm some resources and get down the starter to my solo Ooh, fortress. Nice. Ooh, bed's kinda handy. And we get a couple bags down out here. This road is actually kinda good for components too. And berries, I mean, I don't have to build in the snow. Man, maybe I just build like around here. We got easy access to the snow for farming. You know what, man? I think like, I think I like it. I think I like this spot. Close to outposts, close to water treatment. We'll just see what the snow looks like. Yeah, we got a couple bases down there. Kind of expected that. They'll be huge too. They're gonna be massive bases. I think we'll stick to that spot next to the dirt road. I like it. 
could get a bit spicy, but <laughs> we kind of have to be spicy this wipe, I think. Oh, fuck. Hey, he's hit me again. Oh my god, this guy's a god. What the fuck? I died here, but with bags down now, I respawned and got to work farming. I feel like this little valley will be fine. It's loaded, what? <laughs> what are you doing, kid? Oh, yeah. Man, let's get outpost and recycle. We're like, almost there. I took this guy's comps and crude oil straight to outpost to recycle and cook up some low grade. And on the way back to base, a fight broke out close by. So I went to investigate. Sounds concerningly close to my base. I say we go grub, to be honest. Put this box down. We'll go check that out. By the time I'd made it out, they'd dispersed. But it wouldn't be long until I encountered a geared player just outside of my base. Let's take that pipe, you home. And there, yeah. And then we gotta farm a bit, upgrade this base. <laughs> I'm pretty easy raid right now. Come on, man. Fuck me, how is he not dead, dude? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, man. Ah, oh, that was not smart, dude. Ah, oh, that was not smart. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you do that? Oh my god. Okay. We need a farm right now. I was in desperate need of a farm run, as my base was an easy target for any group, especially since there hadn't been a blueprint wipe. 
but in classic Harvey's fashion, I got distracted by a shiny airdrop in the snow. Ooh, that drop is like, kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think I'd go for it, man. It's so close. There is no way I get away with this. Hey, dudes on the hill? Yeah. Well, they got bows? I don't know, man. I could maybe grab a weapon. They don't try and kill me before it drops. There is no way. I gotta go back, they might not find the Tommy. <laughs> no way those two bow kids fumbled it <laughs> that bad. Oh man. These guys are surely the ones taking taking Bradley. No way. <laughs> no way. Oh, uh, what a play, dude. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. There is no way I got that home. That's crazy. Alright, let's go get some stone. Nice. Okay, no bad little start. supposed to upgrade that oh my god okay <laughs> that's so annoying dude what are you doing i had accidentally upgraded the door frame for the first bunker but at least now my base was protected from eco raids i wanted to speed up the rate of progression so i farmed some comps on the way to outpost and bought myself a jackhammer and after expanding my base, I'd find out that the player I grabbed a socket from lived closer than I would have liked. It's a good little run. So that run down the road gets me roughly like 150 scrap, I think, one way. That's that's pretty good, really. Oh, that base has just popped up. Time to expand, I think. This be a temporary jump up for now. some ambiance up in here yeah that's good I like that <laughs> that looks sick oh, I love it all right not a bad little start I think we'll spend the night doing a bit of base organization and then uh, yeah we'll keep at it yeah I thought so suck wow 
Fuck me, dude. Oh <laughs> god, it's him. Oh man, do I need to move bases? Honestly. That's a kitted three man, like, just down the road from me. Like, their base is, like, here in N10, and I'm here in Q9 or O9. I mean, they're not very good, but there's three of them, you know. Alright, we, we'll persist. We'll persist for now. Let's see what happens. Whoa, okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's get out of it. 300 scrap. Satchel, red card. Man, he just ran water treatment. Man. Running water treatment without a weapon? You crazy, dude. Like, maybe if it's right at your doorstep, but <laughs> he was running. <laughs> like, he wasn't, he wasn't close. Oh, man. Imagine if I raided that three, man. <laughs> with statues. <laughs> ah, so good. I think we just keep grinding the road for now. I want to get to tier 2, and I want to hopefully get lucky and find a, a mixing table. Well, I think water treatment should be up pretty soon. Because I killed that guy with the uh, cards. And that was roughly half an hour ago, like 20, 25 minutes ago. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not bad. bad. Not bad. Yo, they're actually chasing what? Dude, they are hard chasing. That's crazy. I've had a break, had something to eat, made some coffee, 
feeling good. And while I was doing that, I actually just wrote down like a list of all the all the items that I want to try and check off in terms of like completing this challenge. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty hard. Um, yeah, we've got contest an airdrop, and I guess a win an airdrop because we've already contested one. Then I want to complete both large and small oil rigs. Also contest and win a locked crate like a chinook crate i need to do cargo and i guess successfully win cargo ship and then the last last three are going to be pretty hard well the last four is uh take bradley at launch site take down the attack helicopter which that's a few days away at least before i think about that and the last two are to raid someone and to hopefully defend an online raid as well so yeah, we got a lot of uh, work ahead of us, that's for sure. But I, you know, I think we can do it. I mean, the server is getting a lot busier than what I was hoping. When I joined, there was about 60 people on. Yeah, full pop is going to be very difficult to complete like any of these challenges, man. Now with a clear set of goals for this wipe, I was keen to start making some progress. It was now at least a couple of hours into my journey, and I was yet to tick off any of my challenges for this wipe. And with the server starting to fill out, I knew that I'd have my work cut out for me. The goal for today was at least to try and tick off contesting an airdrop, because if I won it successfully, I'd probably score a few backup weapons that I could use to do the other challenges. So I really need some farm, since I died before with all my farm. Yeah, I still haven't really worked out the best place for me to farm. Because the snow is pretty contested. <laughs> There's some, like, lots of AK shooting over there. works yes <laughs> oh yeah okay let's get this furnace going again Let's do the offset bunker too while we're here. Get that all sorted. Should be yep, ten percent. Beautiful. Nice. We'll just test that it works actually. 
sure you guys have seen this sort of bunker before. Yeah. Sounds like it worked. It yeah, boy. Is here an M2? Holy shit. <laughs> I would take that. <laughs> it's a freaking war zone outside my door, man. I really didn't want to play a server this high pop. I don't know why I do this to myself. In the middle of this all up. Time to do the second story because I need more storage. I just need to get a med syringe before I start running it, I think. Hey, First proper roam. Or like, roam with a decent weapon. <laughs> See if we can not get killed by a grub would be a good way to start. What, like, what is this fucking game? Man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. Yo, pick me up, bros. Thanks, man. Poor, so it's gonna have to stay sheet metal for now. So we're gonna have a break for a bit. It's been a like, you know, it's been a fairly productive little sesh, but I'm getting a bit tilted. I'm not gonna lie, getting a little bit tilted. An hour and a half later, when I logged back in, I researched the Tommy and went out for a roam. Things were really starting to heat up in my area, with a number of smaller bases popping up nearby. I decided it'd be a good idea to focus on securing my base, because getting raided would really set me back, and make it nearly impossible to achieve what I'd set out to do this way. But it wasn't long after that when I saw an airdrop off to the west. Oh uh, no, I'm so sorry dude. Uh, bro, that's rough.
it's an M9. It's probably like a Zerg, one of these snow Zergs, but let's see what we can do. Don't know where the spaz went? Damn, free Jackie though. We'll take that. Just line me up. Um, seriously. Damn, I was gonna pick him up. And he had a wooden high wall though. Actually need that. <laughs> Bro's had a rough time. Let me up, seriously. <laughs> M9 crossy combo. Yeah, I'm actually not going to make it. Damn. You never know. <laughs> Might be uncontested. Need to start checking some things off the list, man. the gun. Come on, get me to outpost, man. <laughs> no way. I was starting to get worried that I wasn't going to make any progress today. I don't know what those guys are doing on their roof, but they got laser sights. Looking for heli, maybe? Uh, one off the list. Hell yeah, dude. I'd finally completed one of the tasks for this challenge, but I was pretty quickly brought back to reality, as my neighbors had now progressed to full metal AK kits and were taking chopper. Okay, well, my neighbors are taking chopper. Good. I knew that since I'd been a pest and grubbed them early for a socket, they'd probably want me out of the area. So I really wanted to learn Garage Door before I had to log off for the night. So I took the red card and went to run the launch puzzle. I didn't find a garage door, 
but after recycling at Outpost, I had enough scrap to tech tree down to it. So I crafted up some garage doors, sealed up the double bunker, and logged off for day one of this wipe. I'd made some decent progress today, but I'd only managed to tick off one of the tasks to complete the challenge, so I'd definitely have my work cut out for me on day two. Beginning of day two. And that is a good sign. That's a good sign, man. Still got building crib. Looks like we're good. Hell yeah. All right, let's uh, go and have a little look around. See what's happening outside. No one's griefed us either. The way it's nice. Oh shit, our neighbors got raided too. <laughs> yes. Yes, they got raided. This area is going to be so much better for me now. Uh, chainsaw is kind of useful. Oh man, I'll take all of that. 380 leather. Well, that changes everything, man. I could actually make some good progress around here now. I think we're going to aim to take uh, take rig, like both small and large, is probably first on the cards today. And then hopefully cargo. If I can get those three done, like completed, checked off today, then I should have some pretty decent loot. Like, should have a fair bit of scrap and some decent weapons to allow me to take, you know, Bradley and, um, and Heli. And I also go do lock crate, actually, now that I think about it. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's a good little farm run. I feel kind of bad, the boys are ready to put down a house. <laughs> I was chilling. My neighbors had been raided, and I was ready to head out and take oil rig and tick it off the list. Um, so oil rig's up. Need a green card though. A uh, blue card, I mean. But before doing that, I needed a blue card. And there weren't too many blue card monuments close by, so I decided I'd just buy one from Outpost. Which is when I noticed a massive base just up the road from where my old neighbours used to live. Oh sh shit. Man, I did not see that base. I thought I was all good around here for a little while. Now we wait. It's not gonna be long. It's gonna be like any minute, surely. Some group's been like holding this down, so I feel like they're taking it on timer. There's definitely gonna be counters. I'm just gonna board, man. I think those people were like swimming over.
Man, I just want to get this large furnace home, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna prioritize loot, like, I don't wanna... I don't wanna be leaving good shit in the boat, messing around, going back and forth. I think I'm just gonna take the best loot, leave the shit. To be honest, I think I got lucky with, um, Ellie and Cargo spawning in at the same time that I came here. Okay, not bad. Explosive's pretty good. Man, that's both C4 and Explosive, if I can get this home. Well, I mean, no counters, but we're checking that off, man. Checking another one off the list. Hell yeah. Oh, let's go, dude. I'd been lucky and was able to take oil rig without any counters. This scored me some high tier loot, including metal armor, explosive, and a four times. So I wanted to keep the momentum going and head to large oil. So we could do large, but I think if we go there now, I don't know how long it's been up for, there's probably going to be people there taking it. I mean, I could just take, I got a bunch of red cards. Do we just send it? Yeah, someone's taking large. I mean, I could set up a trap, but I'd be risking the four times. It'll send it, I guess. <laughs> I ended up making a pretty ballsy decision to try and counter or set up a trap, but it went horribly wrong, and it cost me my four times an M39. So as I normally do after a difficult loss, I worked on the base for a bit and expanded to the third level. And while I was doing that, I noticed a farmer from the big clan up the road heading out for a farm run with a jackhammer. So naturally, I decided to follow him. Guys, farming. I know I shouldn't. Don't think he's seen me yet. I feel like he should have seen me, but... that guy. Yeah, he's from the group that got raided. Hey, got the hollow. Hell yeah. I didn't think much of this guy's name at the time and kept expanding the base. And soon after that, Heli spawned in again. And once again, my new neighbors up the road were taking it from their roof. So I took a DB over to see what I could do. No fucking way. <laughs> no way. I'm so raided, dude. Oh my god. Turn off the furnaces. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh fuck man, I'm so raided. <clears throat> it's not even funny. What 
the fuck just happened? It's going to be very hard to finish this challenge if I get raided. And I think I've pretty much just sealed that. <laughs> no, what have you done? I spawned outside to see how many there were and what type of kits they were wearing. Which is when I saw a familiar name and I started to connect the dots. My original enemies who lived just off the road from me hadn't actually been raided overnight. The decaying base where I found the chainsaw was only their starter base, and they'd moved into a massive compound just down the road. After DB grubbing them for almost three full metal kits, I knew it was only a matter of time before they came over to raid me. Dude, maybe they didn't get raided. Maybe they just moved bases. <laughs> Fuck man, I think this is it. Uh, yep. I'm just gonna hope they don't have enough. Come on, dude, let me place. <laughs> oh, it's over. What are they going through? Oh, they're going through a pancake layer, man. Okay, I'm gonna spawn upstairs. Um, just leave my body on like a body bag here. Ain't no way. Just, oh my god, I can't believe I turned those back on. I can't believe I turned those back on. I can never, I can never turn those back on ever again in my fucking life, man. What are you doing? Can we talk this out, man? You reckon we can, uh, you reckon we can, uh, talk this out? Oi! the fuck do you paddle? Is this you? Paddle? Yeah, what's paddle. up? Is this you? Paddle, yeah. is this you? Yeah, what's going on? Paddle, give us the AK kit back and we'll leave you alone. Didn't you already get it back? Give us the AK kit and we'll leave you alone. No, you have another one. The last one. Man, to give him the kit, I gotta open the fucking bunker.
<laughs> they haven't go through the pancake layer yet. I didn't know they were going through there. I literally have to go out in like 20 minutes. Fuck me. I can't be late. <laughs> I believe my floor over TC wasn't armored. Like under the drop boxes, I should have been armored. Paddle OT was good. Hey, what's up? Did Bob oh, shit, Zane? What's going on, gang? No much, bro. I'm just, I'm just chilling, farming, you know. Say buzz one more time and see what happens. He Ugh. never even said it once, what? Say bruz. Wanna give us your base? Go. Yeah, you pretty much got most of it. I'll keep this little part though. Well, I gotta go, man. So, I'm gonna log in, get my loot from my buddy, shut the doors, and uh, I gotta jump off. And we'll just see, I guess. We'll see what happens when I get home in like a couple of hours. In extremely unfortunate timing, I had to head out to lunch. So with this clan one armored wall from my TC and all my best loot, I logged off. Dude, they didn't get in. Too? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. That's crazy. I mean, they didn't get to, like, TC, which is good, but, like, they got a lot. They got, uh, I mean, all my, all my sulfur, my C4, my explosive, that I hadn't researched. And all because I didn't upgrade that, like, single half wall to armored to do that kind of it's kind of painful but we still have a bunch of comps and weapons too I'm pretty sure oh man my tier 2 and everything it's all gone <laughs> it's all gone by some miracle my TC room had survived but my base was pretty much stripped clean what I did have left though was all my comps and some high tier weapons but having lost my tier 2 workbench this was a huge setback since I was in this for the long haul, I decided the best play for me was to find a new build location, because these guys would probably end up raiding me again. One of my challenges for this wipe was to survive an online raid, which I had technically done by building a strong solo base. So for the time being, I checked it off my list. After that, I took the rest of the day off to recoup, 
and got up early the following day to restart. grubs <laughs> so yeah we got raided yesterday but surprisingly they didn't get to like they didn't get through my second bunker they must have run out of boom so i'm left with a bit of loot like not heaps but like a little bit i got a few guns still got an airdrop i was almost going to change server <laughs> and try recording the solo experience from scratch. But I think we're gonna... Holy... Fuck. I think we're gonna salvage... <laughs> okay, no. I think we're gonna salvage this wipe. And we're gonna move and build a new base. I might move over here closer to the large rig and airfield where the lock crate has been dropping a lot. So that way I can complete those two challenges, lock crate and large oil. Oh man, that's a lot of nodes. This could be good, man. As I climbed to the top of this mountain west of Outpost, I found the perfect build location for my new base. Oh, dude. Hold up. Oh, I could probably fit my entire shell, like my entire base on this little rock up here. <laughs> That's actually so good. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I'm excited, man. It's gonna be a really good fresh start in this server. Hey, bro. A TC down. Dude, yeah, this spot is so cool. <laughs> it's actually so cool. I can't get too distracted though. Like, I've got a mission. I've got a mission this way. Can't be too focused on like base building, but it's like my most enjoyable part of the game. So we we can definitely squeeze it in, you know. I wonder where farmer boy went. <laughs> I gotta be careful not to make enemies straight away. exactly what I needed, man. Stone. <laughs> uh, I gotta be so careful, man. Don't wanna get raided, like, again. I gotta lay a bit lower this time. Oh no, he's outside. I ended up making the call to give this guy his farm back, as I didn't want to make any enemies before I had an established base. Hey, we can be chill. And this turned out to be a good move. Not only was he a good bloke and left me some stone, he was also part of a four-man group. Hey, I appreciate it, man. So I definitely dodged a bullet. Uh, dude. <laughs> that is the right call. <laughs> That's 100% the right decision. For the next few hours, I worked on upgrading the base and running the train yard puzzle on timer to give me a bunch of cards to use at large oil. It was almost time to refocus my attention back to the challenge. But first, I made a new friend with a guy who was clearly quite new to the game. I guess I'll follow him. See what he's got to show me. Where are we going, bros? This is them.
He showed me his base, and I even ended up helping him farm some wood. Which, you could say, went to pretty good use. I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so ugly, man. <laughs> what is this shit? Alright man, this is technically the fourth day on the server. I didn't really get to play much yesterday, but I just moved bases, upgraded the new base. It's pretty, pretty solid base, so I wasn't expecting to be raided. But yeah, there's a few less players on it, it's, it's pretty early. So I'm gonna utilize this time to get a big old farm run in. And um, yeah, then we're gonna start trying to tick off a few of these boxes today. It's gonna be a good day, man. So far this wipe, I'd managed to complete securing an airdrop and running small rig. So I had a long way to go, and not long after logging in, the first opportunity for the day presented itself. Dude, this might be an opportunity to tick off a lock crate, to be honest. That's going straight for airfield. Alright, let's get it. So it should still be like 10 minutes left, if someone got the timer straight away. But yeah, it's going to be tricky without binoculars or four times it's so hard like it's so hard to see people at distance on console <laughs> too many pixels well not enough pixels <laughs> the base is kind of huge is it even started yep sure is the kid looked like he was wearing a um, scuba kit though, like wetsuit. But again, it's not many pixels. <laughs> it's probably like a full metal kit. They are grubs. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, that's a long time to wait. I feel like those guys that took Chopper would have been here if Chopper wasn't out. They might still come. It's still like four minutes. Ooh. Hurry up! AK? Or SMG bodies, damn. Or maybe those guys had one or two. Maybe two or three SMG bodies. Overall, pretty trash. Except for the AK. AK is good. Jesus. God damn it, man. Didn't even see him. Oh my god. It's gonna be so much harder than... I mean, I knew this was gonna be really hard, let's be honest. Still not sure it's gonna be possible, but... Gonna give it a go. <sighs> that was a pretty tough L to swallow. So I shook it off and headed out to try and take Large Rig, but someone had beaten me to it. 
Oh, that's a rib. Yep. GG. This is hard. This is really hard. It's enjoyable though, like, even though I'm copping L's left, right, and center. compound really like for the terrain that I'm on actually it turned out pretty neat I'd spent a decent chunk of time upgrading the base which was coming along nicely you just send it try and do large I don't know like if there's people there we'll play it by ear see how many are there and then I went out to try and take large again as soon as the crate spawned Within five minutes of being there, I was counted and died. If you hadn't noticed the trend for today, it was me copping L's left, right and center. And although I had a few small wins here and there, I ended up logging off for the night without completing a single item from my list. in the compound again it's pretty pretty standard well today has to be a big day because yesterday was a lot of fun but I didn't achieve anything I didn't like I tried so hard to tick off a few of the experiences like large locked crate and yeah like just failed horribly but now today's gonna be good today's gonna be good I'll tell you what though like the base is looking really nice when it doesn't have all this twig build up shit on it. It's it's actually like a real chunky base. Alright, so first things first. We're gonna try and do large this morning. Like there's less people on. But you know, yesterday, like, it wasn't a full pop server. It was like 60 to 70, which is pretty busy. But everyone I encountered yesterday was just an absolute god. I don't know what else to say, like, everyone I fought against yesterday just absolutely laser beamed me.
No way. Oh my god. I'm stressed. It's a real ballsy play calling in those two airdrops. Like, if anyone has a camera set up and they're like, oh man, it's a solo. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd assume that a solo wouldn't be that dumb. Oh my god. What is that? That's so trash. Okay, now we just gotta get this home. <laughs> We're so close, man. We could go straight to locked crate. Could you imagine? Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Ah, oh, finally. We check another one off the list. Large oil. Let's go. Let me go go and get stuff from my um from the boat still. Okay, what we'll do is there's not much that is like super important in the boat so i'm just going to put a bag down next to it and then we're going to head to lock crate and if i happen to die i'll just spawn at the bag and run the rest of that stuff home this is a good opportunity to try and tick off the locked crate as well I'm not sure if it's activated yet man A long 15 minutes begins. <laughs> no, fuck. We got two guys. I think I gotta move. So sketch. Right, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Fucking run, dude. Yes! 
<laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> let's go, man. Hell yeah. Ah, yes, let's go. Yeah, compound bow. Oh, shit. Ugh, handmade. <laughs> Some grubs trying to eco raid. Just drop this in the furnace and then we'll go check that out. Ah, uh, it's been such a good run this morning. Complete, like, turnaround from yesterday. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. That's how this rust life goes. God. I saw another M39. Ah, oh, it's got a four times on it. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, man. What happened, man? What happened, man? What's going on, bros? What, what happened, man? What, what do you mean? What happened, man? What, uh... Yeah, what happened? Like, what happened? What? What happened? You you had a custom and you died to an M92? What happened? Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you, like, think I'm mad or something? Yeah, you should, I think you're really mad. <laughs> what are you, like, 11 years old? <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing. Can you give me loot, please? No, can you give me loot, please? Sure, man. Yeah. Um, I'll meet you back there, where you killed me. Ling on the floor laughing. Okay, I'm here. Alright, man. I'll see you there in a minute. What is wrong with people? Okay, we are officially juiced. I went AFK for a bit, and when I returned, I called it an airdrop, then spent some time upgrading the shooting floor. The final and most difficult tasks for this challenge were to take Cargo, Chopper and Bradley, as well as doing a raid of my own. It's gotta be a bolty. It's gotta be a bolty. <laughs> Man, look at this base. <laughs> how's, the, how's the location? Crazy. Trashed, man. <laughs> Actual trash. Not worth drawing the attention to my base. <laughs> Not sure exactly what I want to do here though. idea yeah I'm gonna go and door camp <laughs> that guy that invited me to a party to talk shit before I'd noticed an active base near where I died to the M92 kid, so naturally I took a spaz over for a cheeky door camp. And I might go saturate that base. Wouldn't mind getting rid of that dude. Toxic little shit. A 
I did say I'd never saturate again in my life, but it is what it is. <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing. That's one of them. Shit. Make another door ASAP. Oh, they're fucking loaded. <laughs> it's logged up. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> That's what you get. Shit. Loaded. <laughs> so worth. <laughs> this base was pretty loaded, especially on comps. So once things settled down outside, I ran the best loot back to base. It was satisfying getting a swift revenge on this kid that talked shit for no reason. So I checked a raid off my list with the plan to do a bigger raid at a later stage. Oh man, this is like actually the coolest base. Just the location. It's so good. Look at this man. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I should have built the tower yet. I feel like it might get me raided. But either way, it's been real, man. It's been a real experience. Blue panel mate, um, Oddie Boy says that he wants to raid you guys. Yeah, totally man. <laughs> yeah, he did. That, that's all we do is raid, is raid solos. Yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> I thought, profit. I was like, that's mad, a bit fucked up man. I've only got three M2s. You're fucking poor. What? Oh, Look at your tower, why have you done that? <laughs> My sick car. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten bigger overnight. <laughs> 
Yeah, can you build, can you come, if we give you TC ult, can you build us one of those guys, please? <laughs> <laughs> Might be worth a raid. There's been a lot of shooting down this way about fifteen minutes ago. Moved on. <laughs> That's the tower. <laughs> Not the time to be admiring, <laughs> admiring my base while I'm running for a raid. And this could be like either really juiced or have absolutely nothing in it. Like, I have no idea. It's in, it's in a location that could be super juiced. But it's also like, yeah, I don't know, haven't been over this way. Okay, it's kind of what we expected. Man, I swapped out my Tommy. Nice. Oh, quite a few comps. Ah, oh, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth. <laughs> definitely worth already. More sulfur. Yeah, that's a good raid. Oh, why did they not have another door? Doesn't make any sense. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like six six K sulfur. This 2x1 was definitely profit, and a good way to finish off a successful day. I'd accomplished a few items from my list, leaving only the big three remaining, Cargo, Chopper, and Bradley. If I survived the night, the next day was going to be a real test of my skill and patience, and I was ready for it. man yes yes dude <laughs> we survived <sighs> today is the day that we potentially finish this challenge I wasn't sure man I, I, I was actually thinking I had my large furnace running for so long yesterday <laughs> like cooking metal but surely someone picked up on that and thought that I'd be a worthwhile raid. So this morning, we're gonna be keeping a close eye on uh, cargo. That's gonna be first on the list to try and try and check off. Pretty good. 
scrubs. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn, that must have been recently too. What do I have in there? Three, three SMG kits, three customs. What the hell? Man, someone's interested. Ah, so we lost a little bit. Like there was a bit of farm and stuff in the external gatehouse, but that's about it. Nothing I'm too too fussed about losing. Fucking dog. Solid drip. I don't think I know where that guy lives. Much better. Damn, he actually got up at like 6 a.m. to raid me. <laughs> That's crazy. It's coming in over the other side of the map. Like, actually, the opposite side from me. We are the first ones here. Oh, a large battery. <laughs> oh, got this one else here. If anyone else is on board. Okay, let's get this last crate going. Sounded like it dropped down here. Hey. Guy killed himself, so I feel like he was by himself, maybe? No massive groups yet. Ooh. Armored door? Oh, second one should be done as well. Let's go, man. Seven minutes. Feels like a long time. So close, man. Oh shit.
fuck's sake. I need to get out of it right now. actually devastating. That's actually fucking devastating. Ah, that was so dumb of me. Like, what are you doing? Why would you not clear the area before trying to loot the crate? Oh man, I am defeated after that. That's fucking rough, dude. Why couldn't I have died to like the first guy? I mean, yeah, what? Surely not. No. It's such a sick base, man. It's actually so good. You know what, like, if I get raided tonight, I don't even care, man. Like, I don't even care about not completing the challenge. I've had a great time, built an epic base, had, had some good wins, and some pretty awful losses. That's the solo rust life, you know, man. That's just how it goes. be greedy this time. Last time I was a bit greedy. I tried to get every single box of loot. This time we're gonna get maybe two crates and get out. I'm probably not gonna wait for this third crate to be honest. No counters yet. Someone was taking large so and it sounded like a group like AKs and LRs so that's kind of lucky they might have been here otherwise. I am so fine with that today. Like <laughs> I don't care if there's no counters. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. One's on though, surely. Fuck me, dude. Cargo was proving to be difficult, and it was technically the next easiest task on my list. But not long after dying here, Chopper spawned in. So I decided to go for it. Oh my god, it's right at my base.
like higher than the jump. Oh, my God. Well, I think we are officially a raid target, everybody. And have we got any in my compound? I think I might. Dude, we got at least one in the compound. Hell yeah. <laughs> no way, we took it. Uh oh. What was that? I feel like we gotta get down. Gotta be someone coming, surely. What the hell? <laughs> that was my furnace. No way. That was so sick how, like, the tower was way... Like, I was trying to find Heli for a second there, but it was so low that I didn't even see it. My tower is just so tall. Excuse me? Uh... <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my god. Is that the greatest... Like, is that the best heli loot that anyone has ever gotten in their life? I think it might be. No way. What? <laughs> no fucking way. Oh man, that was so fun to take from this tower. <laughs> yeah, there's the same pop as yesterday. And no one counted. Like, that is insane. Not a single person counted. Actually have to do it. Feel like we got it this time. Cameras.
fucking way. One to go, man. We've only got Bradley to go. It's crazy. I, um... I don't really know how we're going to do this one. Like, it's early. Like, it's like 10am. There's only 34 people on, and they're already taking Bradley. And it's going to be that same massive group. <laughs> with, like, the four high external wall compound. The final task on my list was to take Bradley at launch site. So far this wipe, I had only ventured over there once when I ran the red card. So what I hadn't realized is Bradley was being taken on timer by a 10 plus man group living out of this base. I knew it'd be essentially impossible to do this as a solo. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. I gave it a crack, but each time I killed Bradley, they were there within minutes, at least four deep. I even tried setting an ambush, but still died. That's not happening. <laughs> That's not happening. I'm taking it off, man. <laughs> I'm taking it off. It's impossible. So for this one, I cut myself some slack and checked it off the list for simply killing Bradley. All that was left to do was to use my boom. And at the start of the video, I promised to show my entire experience, good or bad. But we still won't talk about this one. <laughs> but after a week of playing on this server and experiencing everything that Rust console has to offer as a solo, I wouldn't be leaving with a sour taste in my mouth. What's up, man? Yeah, can you give a start? Yeah, like anything will help us, man. Do you have any? Do you, do you want this base? Uh, sure, if you don't want it. Bro, thank you. This is gonna help us a lot, man. That's uh, all good, man. And then... This is the switch for turrets. Oh, wait, what? Your TC's like extra hidden. What the hell? What? Not bad, eh? This is mad. Hold it, my building is. Hey, oh, oh yeah, bro. bro, thank you so much. 
But I was like, I wasn't hoping for the whole base. I was just trying to ask for a start. But, <laughs> but I'll take it. Thanks, man. Hey, that's a good man. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, all right, man. All right. I'll leave you to it. You guys enjoy. All right. All right. Have a good one. You too, man. Catch ya. Thanks a lot, man. If you've made it this far into the video, you're a real one, and I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and for 50k, and I will see you guys in the next video.